it. Um, okay, yeah, so then I think that makes sense. My name's Chiadza Paspanochka, and I'm an artist, a curator, and a writer. What I found with Tim's work is that the materials are an invitation. And then there's other things happening that are indescribable and unseeable. It's that thing that happens with connection, it's the unspoken words, it's intuition, it's these things that you know that you don't know how you know them, but they're there. And Tim's work I don't think is daunting, I think it's actually quite accessible in the sense that it's made of materials from this planet and considers those materials uh, which we are often also made up of. The work just requires a different way of interpreting it. Where I come from in Zimbabwe and in many other places on the continent, they talk about a person is um, only truly gone when they stop speaking their name. And I feel like with Tim, he lives so prolifically as well because people are always speaking about him and speaking about his work. And that exists through this oral tradition, right? And I think it's quite brilliant that a lot of the knowledge of his work exists through conversation and through dialogue because those things will be passed on and carried on. I think there is something to be said about telling stories and passing them on um, and having objects to reference them to. Uh, yesterday was really beautiful. It was such a nice gathering of people. There was a lot of connection and authenticity and I think there was also like a demonstration of courage with everybody in their, the ways that people shared and how the group kind of like grew. I think when we go outside, we get to kind of reset the way that we think and the way that we take in information uh, with our senses. And then internally what's happening on the very small cellular elemental level. The knowledge that I have and that Liz has of Tim's work comes from mostly dialogue. For us today, dialogue is how we'll be sharing about the work, and so it won't be like an art history class. So I thought maybe it would be nice if we could go around and folks can share maybe like what work they chose or how what came up um, in their interactions. You don't have to share. It feels like time stopped. As soon as I sat down with that piece, I thought this all seems like a pursuit of permanence. In fact, I was leaning up against the wall just like the broom as I was looking at it. Uh, feeling that rest of the broom after its labor. The numbers on this, what do they represent? And I was told that it represents the birth date of his mom. I was also thinking about snakes as um, like a symbol of transformation. And I feel like this work makes me think about the living. That sense of a bed sheet being washed and put, used again and washed and used again by another person. The image of a body is a vessel, like and bringing those two things together. You know, I'm, I'm just kind of um, really taken with all of the browns in this space. And that's the color that those bodily fluids turn when they are left to dry or oxidize. And maybe that we have to sit with those those discomforts and the dirty stains and not, like you said, bleach them away and, and just be okay with, with both sides. It's so nice to be able to be in a room with people and explore his work together. Throughout the entire duration of um, working on this show, people have continued to come forward and share their experiences of either encountering Tim's work or getting to work with Tim or study under him or see him speak. We are seeing our audience come back again and again. We are seeing our audience come and sit on the ground and be with his work and then go home and think about it and come back a week later and do the same thing. The works were happy yesterday. People were spending so much time, so much careful time, so much thoughtful time. Their bodies were centered. They were thinking about this in this really beautiful way. And she has enlisted such a good job of foregrounding that. There's something really useful in letting the work be the work. You don't get a prize for knowing the work. Like the gift is in being able to experience it and ask your own questions. That's where the pleasure comes from. I think what his work is doing is teaching us how to look. The themes he's working with continue to be relevant throughout time. I think you and Tim have kind of created 
these really interesting stories together in this exhibition. Using the Roman coins and the representation of snakes in terms of their forms as power. It was this thinking of Tim's objects as operating in like a, a deep time, that they are doing some of the very same work as this like Levantine vessel from 2,000 years ago. What does the earth feel like? And what are the words that I connect and relate to earth? And it was, it was home, it was comfort, it was safety, it was rest, it was groundedness, um, it was clay, it was vessels, it was this sort of this feeling of being held.